Hey, what up? This is Re here. Real motherfucker, back again with another video. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate all of you and um, let's get into this video. So I've been reading this book and I guess I'm late on it because it's been out since 2010, but I've been reading this book by Seven Bomar or Savan. Sometimes he says Savan, but Seven Bomar and it's so good. It's like a really amazing book and there's so much occult information in it that I've never heard before and it kind of puts everything together and I'm like oh this makes so much sense but I wanted to read this one part to you and I don't think he's gonna mind that I read this to you because he actually says it in here he he actually just gave this book out for free and so it's free online it's called code to the matrix so you can check it out if you want there's a lot of things going on subliminally inside what we watch on you know in programs on television obviously like people know about how television is programming us but they don't know to what extent so we're going to talk about first of all disney and then you're going to see how that relates to everything else you see on tv and um, then i'm going to talk about tv and how tv actually programs you in a way deeper way than you thought and then how that relates to music of today so he says that uh, people are made to believe that disney was a big little kid like we all wish to be playing in a fantasy world of castles and medieval lore with dragons princesses and talking mice disney along with other very sick men propositioned themselves to be the corruptors of the innocent youth the fantasy world of disney was a fantasy of a satan pedophile that we could all visit because of our parents knew no better what you don't know can hurt you so i think a lot of people kind of had that suspicion or heard about this before but it goes deep he says since i'm really in this for the children i have a special assignment to dethrone the devil disney that's why i thought i could read this part if we pull together as people it should be because of things like this that hurt children no matter what color or race he not only used pedophilic suggestion mind control techniques in his films his organization obviously run by the dark lord himself continues to put forth Forth mind altering media that gets worse as time goes on. Phantasmoria, the art of evoking demonic spirits, which obviously Disney knew all about since he wrote Fantasia. Taking a look at that movie now with your eyes wide open will reveal an entirely different picture versus what you may have perceived before. In the English language, the play on the words kid is obviously a kid is a baby goat. In the days when Phantasmagoria first began, they lacked TV, so they accomplished it by smoke, pre-recorded sounds of actual terror and lights. Shown above, many participants claim that they have never seen or heard anything so horrifying they could not tell if the demons were real or still a part of the light show. Of course the demons were real. On the back of many Disney titles, it contains the trademark Phantasmoria, meaning the special art, this special art, which was used when making the film. Of course, people thought this was incredible, becoming lovers of horror. That was all an outward scheme, and many suffered mental and spiritual damage while trenched in the frames of Wonderland. This brings to the Gregorian chants. A long time ago, it was discovered that when singing certain twisted hymnals, you could actually bring the lower forms forth by sound. One would have to be a master at singing these hymns perfectly, to the end, the masters of the Gregorian chants were created. When you are listening to certain music from Gothic times, always featured on the soundtrack at Disney films and many others, it is actually the Gregorian chants playing, at least in the background. Remember, Gregory is another name for the fallen angels, which is actually the creature Nimrod is always seen holding in his hand. I cannot put enough emphasis on how powerful sound is and how it affects humans, animals, and even other beings. The chants have led to possession in humans just as a serpent can be charmed with a flute. Rap is now wrapping the minds of the youth so that their minds are tied up and they are immobilized but not for long. Sound is also a key ability we have. Frequency can be used, can be fired at the body, causing all shells, lower life forms to break free of the body. It is at that moment a person knows that they are actually on them. One can never know what it is like to be clean until they are truly washed, and it is not in the blood of the lamb. Come look what they are saying. This is not just a figure of speech. The subconscious mind has to make sense of it all, and it does it literally. So he goes on and talks about how these Gregorian chants are also in played in Las Vegas. And you would think that it sounds just like opera music. So think about that. 
this could be in so many different places. And I'm not going to tell you who, but I'm going to tell you one of my producers did tell me that before the record goes out, there he witnessed that there was an altar set up while they're mastering the track. So think about that and what may be going into the track as well. And this is a well-known thing in the, in the music industry. It helps the track, they say, to go to number one. So that's why we have to be very careful with, I don't listen to any of the music. And now I'm going to tell you why you have to be very cautious of what you watch on TV. A lot of people watch programming and they say, well, I already know it's programming. I know it's not real. It doesn't affect me. I know it's just predictive programming. I watch it to see what's going to happen. Okay. Well, and later on in the book, he talks about why TV works to program you and why we have wide screens. The wider the screen, the width of the screen is made that way because you, in order for you to watch it, you have to cock your eyes wider. So they actually watch it at a wider distance than you would watch reality or um, anything like that. And that's done on purpose because when your eyes have to go to that angle, it opens up your third eye at the same time. So then whatever you're watching is going directly into you. You understand? So it doesn't matter if you know it's real or not. It's still affecting you subconsciously. So, yeah, he really goes deep in this book about it, about the chance and what they can do. So just think about that when you're actually watching Disney programs. And don't don't let your children watch this. You shouldn't even be watching this anyways. And uh, if you notice, a lot of people get very obsessed with Disney and even as adults. And that's mind control. That's complete mind control. But anyways, that's just a quick video. And uh, I love y'all. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. All right. Peace.